Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Evagoras Papasavas. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so um, for people that might not know, just kind of uh, just kind of talk about, uh, just introduce yourself, who you are, and what you do. Yeah, uh, my name is Evagoras Papasavas, driver of the number six car for J. Howard Driver Development in the uh, USF 2000 series, which is part of the USF Pro Championships. Uh, this year was my first full season. Uh, next, uh, last year was my uh, was my rookie season. Uh, I did half a season last year, uh, so this is my first full year, and uh, we're planning so far on um, on continuing next year. All right. So, kind of talk about the season that you had this year. Yeah. So the season, the season this year, it was in the grand scheme of thing, it was it was uh, it was pretty good. Uh, finished fourth in the championship overall. Um, I had one win, six podiums, uh, only two DNFs. Um, so I think uh, it was pretty, you know, pretty good season overall. You know, our goal was to win the championship, uh, to get the scholarship to move up to USF Pro. But um, I still, I still, I'm pretty proud of myself. You know, this year, this year, pretty solid year. You know, I've learned a lot. If you compare my results from last year to this year, it's really a big difference. Uh, you know, got my first win this year, which was really a big highlight of the season. But yeah, overall, it's pretty good. So how did you uh, get into racing? So my dad did some racing. Uh, now, it wasn't at the level that I was doing it. It was kind of like, kind of like, you know, he went to high performance driving events. Uh, he had a Porsche 944 Turbo. So he would he would go to high performance driving events, you know, way before, like way before I was born. Um, and then, you know, we tried a bunch of other sports. We tried, you know, tennis, soccer, but it never really fit. Um, he took me to a, uh, an indoor guarding, carding place, uh, locally from, uh, where I live. And, you know, from then on, it kind of just, it kind of just fit, you know, I fell in love with it instantly right away. And my dad could tell that this is, both of us could tell that this is what I wanted to do for a very long time. Okay. So reminder, um, so where are you from? So uh cyprus uh it's uh cyprus is a um it's its own country but um a lot of the culture um is very much greek so we are a greek country um we are our own separate country uh separate government and uh whatever but yeah it's very much uh greek greek ethnicity yeah so have you so did you do you live in europe currently or do you did you move to america or something like that to chase um you, you know your racing dreams and all that uh no i i currently live in uh in the u.s i live in ohio in the united states yep so um so mid ohio was my home event so it was great to win there but um but yeah it is pretty convenient for where we are as most of the races on the calendar are on the west uh, on the east coast yep uh we, we only have one on the west coast uh portland oregon but uh yeah so you know live in the u.s and been racing all around the u.s that's awesome um, how are you just getting used to these types of cars and stuff? Yeah, so I think last year was really the biggest thing was just getting used to making that transition from go-karting to race cars. Um, you know, I didn't do anything in between. I just went from go-kart straight to uh, to race cars to open wheel cars. So it, the biggest thing was really, you know, a lot of people, they think the size is the biggest thing, but but really it isn't. Uh, because you're racing on a racetrack that is proportional to the car. So, you know, it feels it feels right, just like you're in a go-kart. The, the biggest thing probably, with, especially with these USF 2000 cars, is probably just learning the aero and how the aero affects the car. You know, uh, getting dirty air from the car in front and learning how to adjust that, adjust your braking, adjust your throttle application. Uh, application. So, yeah, that, that's probably one of the biggest things. But everything else, you know, racing's racing, so it's pretty much the same. Yeah, and you and you're and the thing is also you're you're pretty young. I mean, you're only fifteen years old. So, I know what what what's that like to get all this experience in uh in these types of cars being so young? Yeah, I think it really does give me an advantage being so young, uh, and in these series, uh, you know, I have that time to develop and to grow, uh, to to reach my dream. Uh, to become a professional racing driver. So you could say the pressure is off in that sense, but the pressure is still very much, very much on when I go to, to every race. 
uh, you know, to perform and to meet both my expectations, the team expectations and, uh, and uh, you know, whatever. But, um, but yeah, I think it's really good for me being th this young and learning this much and competing against these guys with a lot of experience, because that's what teaches me uh, a lot. You know, like if you're in the front all the time, uh, and you don't have much competition, it doesn't really teach you much. So the fact that I'm with uh, all these guys that have a lot more experience than me and I'm racing them with them really does help me grow and uh, grow as a racing driver. For sure. Um, so going into, you know, the off season right now, what are your plans really? Because it's, uh, cause I know we got the, uh, of course the Chris Griffiths test coming up. Uh, here in the next month and that's usually it gives us a hint it gives us a clue about where everyone that might end up next year um as that as that, those conversations kind of started about what you're going to do in 2024 um they, they've started a little bit that's for sure but um yeah so during the off season it's really just going to be focusing on you know learning those little details that really mean a lot on the racetrack uh it's all about the little details you know so I'm just going to be continuing to put in the work, working hard uh, during the off season. Uh, same with what I did during the season. But uh, in terms of where I'm going for 2024, you know, the plan for me, ideally what I want to do is I want to stay in USF 2000 and win that championship. Um, ideally with J Howard Drive Development, the team that I've been working with ever since I was 13. Uh, so yeah, it's really a, the goal for next year and the goal when we're working in the off season is just to learn those details and to uh, to win the championship to further my uh, my career. Yeah, for sure. Um, and also just um, just the experience that you were able to get. What can you really what what, what do you feel like? Uh, what are your goals for next for next year? What do you want to what do you want to accomplish uh, in this next season? So next year. Uh, you know, it's always about learning. So still, still want to learn, still want to be at the top of the competition. Um, but, you know, ultimately at the, at the, the end of the season, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's the championship, you know, cause the championship, that's, what's going to help me to keep going, to get that scholarship money to, to continue going up the levels. Uh, so yeah, it's really, it's really the goal is that scholarship is that championship. All right. Evagoras Papasavas, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. And um, uh, congrats on a great season. We'll uh, maybe look yeah, forward to talking you. with you uh, when you uh, when you have an announcement about your 2024 plans. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs>